Hello and what is up YouTube, it's JME Imagine here. Hope you're having a great day. Random coming out of you this video. Okay, this is a video by AM to Pro. Hopefully you all enjoyed the event. If you guys went or if you guys watched the stream and stuff like that. Unfortunately, I didn't get to play in the stream. Uh, there was, I think, two of our games was meant to be on stream, but then we're just going, no, you're not on stream. Uh, the one I really remember where I was 100% supposed to be on stream was against Rez's team. Again, what was Rez's team? Got Antics against Antics. We're supposed to be against Antics on stream. Me and Rez both tweeted out saying we're playing, he said we're playing Steel and I said we're playing Antics. On um, on main stage next, and then it just went. No, you're on station four, and station eight was main stage, and was like, no, you're on station four now. It's like, well, how can you tell us one main stage? But it was then to tweet out, and if you'd say no, you're not on anymore. It's like, but why? I don't get it. But anyway, um, at the event, it was a real good event. They, it was, it was the first event. A lot of things went wrong. Fair enough, um, but the event itself. Overall, it was a really good event, you know. <clears throat> it's great to meet people. I love it. I love LAN events. It's absolutely great. You get to meet people who you speak to quite a lot. Or you speak to him now and again, or you know of and stuff like that. But you actually get to put a face to that gamer tag, you know, a face to that name that you call them. Like, I still call my teammates by their gamer tag rather than by the name. I don't know why I just do it's a habit, because I know them more <clears throat> as the gamer tags than I do as the names, like the personal names. So, it, is, it may, sounds like I don't know the names again. I do know the names, Luke and Ben, I know the names. But, I'm the same for the video. All right, so, first... I just want to give you guys a quick rundown of what actually happened today. So first, uh, we, we turned up. Uh, nobody could sign in on the Xboxes. Everyone's trying to sign in at once. The event was supposed to have 100 download, uh, but it ended up having like 4.8 or something like that, they said. Uh, admin came and told me that. So I was just like, okay, well, that's great. So no one could sign in for like an hour and a half to the Xbox. So that's why the event really went like, on late. They ended up scrapping the uh, AM bracket, which is pretty disappointing, really, because I think we could have took that quite well. I think we could have took that quite easily, to be honest. Uh, well, not easily, but quite well. Could have took that. Uh, we ended up placing top 24 in the um, open bracket. We went from winners to losers, and we worked our way from the losers to top 24. We ended up losing against Rez's team, Team Antics. Uh, GG's to them, you know, went to the last map. We didn't get too old by anyone in the event, which is great. And we took we too old one team, I think, and then all the other games were at 2-1. In our favour or on the other team's favour. So we, we put up a good fight against every team. Um, you know, first map against Aerox, their their main t their main team, their first team. Um, you know, they two one does. You know, I think they w they won the solar hard point. We won the Ascent CTF. You know, Ascent CTF that's one of our best maps. You know, we're really really good at that. Um, we took that off Rez's team as well. You know, Ascent CTF. Where was it now? I think it was losers bracket round four. It was retreat hard point, Ascent CTF, and Biolab S and D. Uh, they beat us on the um, the hard point. You know, we was just like. We just wasn't hyped going into it as we were. We was hyped, but not as hyped as we were going into it into the other like games and stuff like that. So we was just like, okay, let's just play. You know, we all said before the before that game started, like, you know what, this is gonna be a tough game. We win, amazing. If not, then you know we play top twenty four. Like it was Bepsos and Bid's first LAN event. I was like, you know what, first event top twenty four is absolutely amazing. You know, we turned up when we had to. We caught some rounds. We won some games, and we made a bit of our name. So that's all you can ask for at a LAN event. And that's exactly what we did, you know, we turned up, we played as well as we could. Sometimes we choked, sometimes we didn't, you know, sometimes we clutched up. Like, I think we got two S&Ds around, around five, five S&Ds. Uh, one of them we won, it was a 4v2 situation as well, and we ended up winning. Uh, the same thing happened against Rez's team. We was we had four teammates there too, and they ended up clutching it up and winning. Um, the the S&D ended up winning, they ended up winning S&D 6-4, I think. So it's GG's them, you know, they clutched up when they had to, they made some really smart players. Uh, but LAN was just ridiculous at that event, we was lagging, people were lagging, okay, my teammate Zephy in our first game against Aerox, we lagged out five times, okay. First map, it was so a hard point, it lagged out I think twice in that, and then in the S&D or something like that, it lagged out like, three times or something ridiculous, it was absolutely crazy. Um, I don't even know what happened, man. It just kept lagging out of the game. How can you lag out a line? It's ridiculous. But the event itself was great. You know, a few things went wrong, like I said before, but it went well. We played some real good teams, played some teams we played online. Um, and, you know, we've won or we've lost and stuff like that, but we actually proved ourselves at line. You know, we proved that we do have talent and we can actually do it. You know, we scrim like literally an hour a night, if that. Like, Monday's Friday, we scrim like an hour a night, if that. Sometimes I can't get on, sometimes they can't get on. You know, we scrim literally the most. We average one hour per night scrimming. Average, okay, on the weekdays. On a Saturday, we pretty much scrim like from like, I don't know, 2 p.m. to about 11, 12 p.m. So we have a big day of scrimming most Saturdays. Not every Saturday, most Saturdays. Uh, Sunday, we play probably from about, I don't know, 7 p.m. to about half 10, 11 p.m. 
So then Saturday and Sunday are main days of scrimming, but obviously, you know, some of us do have weekends, some of us do have family, you know, plans, stuff like that. I've not made the last few Saturdays. I have like um, events, like family parties and stuff to go to, seeing my girlfriend and all this and all that. Like, everything mounts up, guys. At the end of the day, we're, like, we're not doing this as a career just yet. Well, hopefully it will turn into a career, but not just yet. Like, we're just doing it as like a hobby right now. You know, it's a game. It's, it's there to have fun, and that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, so um, we ended up going to, we got knocked out of, well, we didn't get knocked out. Went straight to the losers bracket after our first game against Aerox, right? Which put us like kind of in like a like a just straight down. But at the end of the day, they was expected to play top eight at the event. Like we literally just turned up to the event. Like you know what? If we get if we do like top sixteen, something that's absolutely amazing. First event, you know, we can do it. But they was put, uh, expected to play top eight. So as soon as we got placed up against them, we was just like crap. You know, we played what we could. First land event, I was freezing. My hands were literally ice cold all event. I didn't play as well as I should have played against the Aerox. Why I, I dropped like. I think I went negative in every map from the LA or something like that. Like I just couldn't move my hands. My hands were so cold, especially that first game. Cause I think it was about like ten in the morning. No, it was supposed to start at ten in the morning that game, and we didn't have start until about half eleven. We was literally just sitting there warming up, and it was just boring. None of us were motivated to play after warming up for an hour and a half. It's just like no, cause we weren't even scrimming. It's just a free for all of you. Just jump in and just run around fighting bots. Like it's not even warming up. It's just boring. Um, I don't mind doing that for five ten minutes, but not for an hour and a half. You know, just sitting there playing free for all for an hour and a half is just boring. Um, so we just ended up messing around, and that uh, motivation just dropped from there. But apart from that, everything went well. From then, um, we went to I think our first map was Detroit Hardpoint, come back up link and Solar S and D in losers bracket round one. We won that. Then we went to losers bracket round three, which was Solar Biolab and Detroit. We ended up clutching that. And then he went to losers bracket round four. Wait, round four. Is that how it works? Oh, we won losers bracket round one, round two, round three, and it went to losers bracket round four. And we ended up just we just couldn't catch up, you know. That's why we played against Rez's team. Um, they beat us on retreat hard point. It went to bio. No, I went to a send CTF. We won that. I think three one. Played real well. And I really played well. Feels like I played it really smart. You know, I pushed right lanes it's weird me and Zephy like, we like swap roles in that event uh, in that uh, in that game for some reason like I become the OBJ and he becomes a slayer I don't know why but on CTF I don't seem to drop that many kills but I'm always the OBJ you know I know when to pull a flag where to pull the flag like I'm not saying he doesn't but like I don't know I just feel like I can do a real good job with that and it, it seems it works out you know I get some real good caps you get some real good kills you know we cut lanes very well Chris know really knows how to cut the stop the cutoffs and stuff like that so we play really well together and you know ctf is one of our best game modes you know i feel like ctf takes one of the most it's the most skilled game type hard point is just a kill horror game you know you can just turn over a pickup team just like right get the kills and just getting a hard point you know it's just literally a kill horror in game mode um especially on this game it's not like black ops 2 where it actually took a lot more skill and knowledge and stuff like that but on this game it's just like you know it is what it is just kill horror in game uh ctf i do feel like it takes a lot more skill uplink i think that would take definitely a lot more skill if you couldn't throw the ball out of the map or something like that or if you threw it, threw it out of the map then you'd lose like a point or something like that or you'd have like if you threw the ball out of the map you'd die for like 10 seconds or something like that. if they had something like that in the game where you just couldn't keep throwing it out of the map then i think it would definitely be a lot more skillful that game mode but unfortunately it's not um at least you can't throw it across map now like you used to be able to you used to be able to see someone across the map you just press your lt button and just throw it straight to him like it's crazy but at least you can't do that now to stop that which is good uh, which is definitely increase the skill in that game mode but i think i still think ctf is one of the most skilled game types going because it's just i don't know i just think it's the most skilled to, game type going in the game personally um and then s and d that's quite a skillful game as well if i i don't know what s and d is weird like you can play it like a bunch of randoms and you can win against a really smart team like i don't know it is what it is s and d sometimes you can clutch up sometimes you can't you know depends who you're playing but uh definitely ctf is one of my favorite game modes i think i absolutely love it I love S&D as well. I love hard. I just love the game. I love, it's, a, it's a real good game. Uh, at LAN, it was, it was good. It was quite weird at first, especially when everyone's lagging. It's like, I'm lagging at LAN. Why? What the hell? Apparently, there's a 120 millisecond delay as well. But I'm going to end this video here, guys. I just realized I've been going on for 10 minutes about this event. Uh, but yeah, I was getting hyped at this event. You know, people started screaming at me. There's one team who started giving us loads of crap at the start of the game. And I was just like, yo. We literally, on the Saturday, we turned up there at the event for about half eight, nine o'clock. We had our first game about 11, and then we didn't get to play again until 11 at night. Like, our, our last game was 11 at night. We had to wait, like, which 11, 12 hours to play again. It's like, 
All right. And then they said, we're supposed to have another game straight after that as well, like midnight. But they said, it's too late. You're going to have to come back in the morning about half eight. So it's like, right, so we're finishing the night at like midnight. We've got to be back here for half eight in the morning. Nice. People have already played about three or four games. We played two games and we had a 12 hour wait. Like, what's that all about? So stuff like that, they really messed up on the brackets. But it is what it is. Can't argue with it. We had a real good event. We turned up when it had to. And yeah, oh, the story for that was these guys really started talking loads of shit to us. Uh, before the before the game actually started, and we ended up hundred pointing them on BioLab. No, what bio? What was it? What map was it? I can't remember what map was it. It was. I think it was Detroit Hardpoint. It was. It was Detroit Hardpoint. We ended up hundred pointing them on that. We absolutely destroyed them on Detroit Hardpoint, and then it went to Comeback Uplink, and we ended up getting. I think it would beat them like eighteen to six or something like that, and Comeback Uplink. We played real well, so. You know, just don't ego. I hate egos, like big egos. When people start talking so much shit and you just lose by that much. Fair enough, you're a good player. I will semi let you have an ego, okay? You're just like, oh, yeah, I'm quite good at guy. But just, just don't start egoing people when you're getting 100 pointed. Just don't, you know, it's awful. But I met quite a lot of good people at this event. met so many people who I've spoke to, like I said before, you know, I like, uh, met Woody, Defaults, you know, like, I've seen them before at EGL, that's where I met them, but see them again actually after knowing them and stuff like that it's absolutely great to see them you know rez been speaking to us for a little bit um people we would just scream all the time you know it's, it's great to see people great to meet people uh ferbs obviously first shout out to you ferbs you're a good lad and yeah anyway if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you have a nice big like rating subscribe here and hopefully it went to you bro and hope you got a little bit of an insight of what the event was like i didn't record anything at the event um we was just drained of energy because of that, that first day we just drained us out completely just waiting around for a game for so long and obviously we had about over the whole event, we must have had about 10 hours sleep because we're just like, it's awful. Absolutely awful. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for coming to Aim to Bro if you was there. Thanks for watching the stream if you did. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.